Today I'm interviewing my brother Lucas, who is a member of the AES and an ant keeper. When did you start keeping ants and what got you interested? Um, I started in 2017, I think. Uh, I got interested because I saw YouTube videos of people keeping ants and I was always interested in social insects, so I thought that I could try to do that as well. What species do you keep? Uh, I keep Glacius niger, Glacius flavus, uh, Myrmica, I think it's rubra, but I'm not sure, and I haven't properly identified yet. So what, what species is this then? Glacius niger. And what did you use to make the habitat? Uh, I used drought, sand, and plastic sheets, and silicon to glue the, the plastic sheets together. And, and where did you get all these things from? Uh, I just bought them from online, online stores. And um, the only species in this tank is Laceus niger, right? Um, where do you keep your other species? Uh, it's a bit of a weird question. <laughs> I, I keep them in other tanks and, and formicariums, I don't know. I see. Um, and why can't you keep the species together? Because they kill each other. What's this stuff at the top? Vaseline. And why do you have to use Vaseline? Uh, it's an attempt to keep them from uh, climbing out, uh, climbing over the walls. But as you can see, it's not successful. <clears throat> so I'd ha I've had to put a, a tray there full of water as a, acting as a moat to prevent them from escaping. I think it's, be it's either because of how I applied it or maybe the Vaseline is too, too old or something. I, I don't know why. I guess I'll find the pause in a bit. And you also used Fluon? Yeah, I did. Uh, it didn't work? No, it did for a bit, but then I had to, I had to change it and I thought it was, it was annoying so I had to clean it while they were still in there. I see. And um, why do your ants like to escape? Because they're foraging for food. I see. Um, do you find that your ants are more active at different times during the day? Uh, I don't know because I go to sleep. But I read that they're more active at the more active at night. Mm. And do they behave differently when it gets colder? Uh, you can see that they their movements are more sluggish, and and then of course in they hibernate through through winter. And how do you look after them in winter then? Uh, I I still water them, but they don't eat. They don't require food in this period. I see. What do you normally feed them with? Uh, freshly killed insects, or protein, uh, scraps of meat, uh, seafood, things like that, and for sugars, usually pieces of fruit, um, drops of honey, sugar water. They're quite. Uh, adaptable, they'll, they'll eat quite a, a wide range of food. Um, do you have to give them water too? Yes. And how do you do that? Uh, I use a syringe to squirt water into their uh, where they live, their sand, the sand where they where they've dug uh, tunnels and chambers. And you, if you feed them the same food, does that ever cause problems? Yeah, they tend to get bored after a while, just eating the same uh, thing over and over again. So you should try and keep a variety in their diet. Mm -hmm. And how did you get the ants for these colonies? Um, I caught a, a, a queen after she had mated in her nuptial flight. How do you know when the nuptial flights are happening? And I just look outside. And once you've caught them, what do you do? I uh, put her in a, no, I put the queens in, set in separate test tubes with uh, water, 
filled up some of the way and blocked off with a cotton, um, what do you call it, a ball, a cotton ball. Mm, I see, like a wad of cotton. Yeah. Um, what else do you need to do to look after the ants? Uh, I have to remove their, their waste and garbage because they'll leave insect exoskeletons and other forms of trash that I have to uh, clean clean out. And they leave their trash in one area? Yeah, they, they're quite organised. They pile things together. Um, yeah. And how do you manage, um, how do you uh, make sure your ants are taken care of when you go on a family holiday? Well, I need someone to do the necessary jobs while I'm absent, so I just ask people to, to do it. So, ask one of the neighbours? Yeah, neighbours, friends or whatever, just anyone, doesn't really matter. Yeah, and, and what do they have to do? What instructions do you leave for them? I'm not going to go fully into this, but just the, how to feed them and how to water them. Mm -hmm. Just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And do you have any further plans for your ants? What are you thinking about doing to help them next? Um, I'll just continue to... Well, I'll probably move them into a larger uh, formicarium because... I think that they'll start to run out of space quite soon, so I'll either I'll attach more uh, room for them to inhabit and expand into. I see. Well, thank you very much. Um, that's my brother Lucas talking about his ants.